Wake up! So the battery in my tire gauge died, and guess what? It's not replaceable. That's how they get you. I mean, it totally could be replaceable if they wanted it to be replaceable. Reoccurring revenue is the name of the game. They could have easily made it replaceable, but they didn't. Why? Because there's no revenue in that for them in the future. They'd rather have you buy a whole new product. And sure, I could get an analog gauge. Well, I prefer the digital one. It's way easier to read the reading, and it's self-illuminating. So you can use it at night, with ease. That really has nothing to do with the main point. The point is rather, if you're looking to go into business, if you're looking to start your own business, but you're not sure what kind of business you want to start, look in the direction of reoccurring revenue streams. Great if you can work with a customer and sell them something once. Even better if you can sell them something over and over and over and over. But Jeremy, you flip houses. You don't do that. Just think about your cell phone bill. Think about how much revenue you've generated for your cell phone carrier in the last one year. Now multiply that by 10. Gym membership. Replacement blades for your razor. Toothpaste. Lipstick. Sunscreen. Rent revenue. A digital product or service offered on a membership or annual basis. Home security system company. Tire store. I mean, think about a car audio shop compared to a tire shop. I think we can all agree that a car audio shop serves a very small percentage of the overall vehicle population. But on top of that, they're only selling that very small percentage of the population a product or service once every few, maybe five years. Then you've got the tire shop. Everybody needs tires. I think we can also agree 100% of the vehicles on the road need tires. And they'll need them again. And they'll need them again. Oh, and we haven't even talked about brakes. Well, I mean, you know and I know that you're going to need those too. Oh, and how about an alignment? We've all been there. But Jeremy, you flip houses and that's not a reoccurring revenue model and you'll probably never do business with those people again. This is very true. Aren't you contradicting yourself? No, because that's a great business model to explore too high dollar and high profit margin transactions. Most of my customers and I are only gonna do business once in our lifetime together, but that's okay because it's a high revenue, high profit transaction. The downside is, it's only once, and then I gotta find a new customer, and that costs money. But it's worth it. But it's not for everybody. So if you're out there and you wanna start a business, but you're not necessarily sure yet what kind of business, I would highly encourage you to explore businesses that fit within one of those two models, either the reoccurring revenue model or the high margin, high profit per transaction model. If you're going to pour your time and energy into a business, then it better be fucking worth it. It's not for everybody. But I'll tell you, after working a 9 to 5 for someone else for 13 years, I'm never going back. Clearly, there are successful car audio shops. And clearly, there are other successful business models. But to me, they just seem harder. Now, the exception to this, of course, is massive volume. You can make a $1 profit per item, and if you sell a ton of those items, you'll make a ton of money. But that just seems like doing things the hard way. Unless... Internet marketing. Drop shipping. Affiliate marketing. You run targeted Facebook ads for a specific group of people that you think will like the product or service that you're trying to pitch them. You run those ads, you pay for those ads, but then you direct the clicks from those ads to a site, and when they purchase, you make some money. That sounds like a numbers game. If enough people see that ad, a percentage of those people will click on that ad, and a percentage of those people will buy the product. Meaning, once you have the right combination, once you've got the right ad in front of the right group of targeted potential customers and it starts converting to sales, all you need to do is increase your ad spend to get more sales. Now it doesn't even matter that you're only making five bucks off that knockoff Easy Bake Oven. Yeah!